Seems they're not. Uh, they're talking about the MM bomb, the matchmaking bomb. Timer tick being 10 seconds longer. You can basically extend the round by 45 seconds just planting. It's pretty cool. It's a great new feature. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Well, it's not much going on. But this has been one of the best warm ups we've, you've ever seen. Yes. Sensational, Very some might yes. say. <laughs> Sensational, some might say, yes. Uh, as device, headshot Smiths. There you go. You're warming up for your play by play. Yeah. Very good. Come on, let's g give it, give us some play by play. No, I, wow. Uh, we see Dignitas buying f uh, Galils and flashes, and uh, we have a, d a grenade on device. Right. As they move into the light. I think you get you have a big future in yeah, this. Thanks. Whenever you're ready to stop playing, <laughs> you can have my seat. Yeah. And I will take your seat on Fnatic. Let's make a deal of that. Yeah. Right. If you damage your teammate at the start of another round, you will be kicked. <laughs> but assuming that that's not going to happen, we are live. Nope. We are stop. It's a lot of back and forth in this match. It's a lot of back and forth right now. The, they're psyching each other out. Yeah, the, the, the tension must be very high. Let's go. Uh, we don't want to go to commercial simply because um, you know it could start any minute now or not. Um, let's talk about the uh, the wider kind of community right now. A lot of events, a uh, lot of big tournaments ongoing at the moment. Uh, yeah. it must be refreshing for you. You must kind of not know where to turn. Which tournament to show up for? Uh, every tournament. Yeah, show you're, up gonna, you're gonna sign up for everything. Still? Everything, even uh, amateur leagues, and uh, seems like we need it. You know, some warm up. Clan base Euro Cup. Uh, yeah. Going to rebuild it, bring it back. Um, but good activity in the scene. DreamHack yeah. Summer's coming up next. Uh, how are your guys' focuses for that? Uh, well, obviously, our focus is DreamHack Summer. Uh, it's a big tournament. DreamHack is always like kind of the most important tournament, especially being in Sweden, home soil and everything. And uh, yeah, so our focus is, um, is DreamHack Summer. We're boot camping and preparing and kind of reforming ourselves. And uh, we kind of, yeah. Kind of trying a new style, and hopefully we'll it will work out for DreamX Summer. And uh, yeah, we're about to go live. I I assume. Well, we were we were told. We, we were, were told. told. We were tricked. You can see uh, also the upgrade to the face that's You've now got these cool graphics in the background. You can see Gragas there just chilling. See, upgrades away. Yeah, <laughs> and Stu. Yeah, I painted them myself with my tongue. We're going to go very live. Very good uh, tank painter. Yeah. Oh. Skills. Skills. Um, we assume that the game has just gone live. That's the yeah. world we're getting in our ear. And let's try this once again. It's Dignitas versus Titan in the Face It Spring League winner bracket game one. And we are in warm up. We are back in warm up. <laughs> One of my favorite places in a game because uh, generally, you know, it's one of the safest places. Yeah, you can't, you can't make a mistake. Uh, it's very, very good Yeah, for practice. I get very nervous in front of crowds. Yeah. You know, so, uh, As uh, now it seems to be live. Uh, existence, going for nades. A lot of our... Well, let's see here. A lot of nades on uh, Team Dignitas. So I would say it's... Probably going to be a set strat towards B pretty quickly, as Titan actually doesn't have anyone towards B. Interesting start from Titan, or interesting layout from Titan. They have now moved uh, uh, one player over to that side, but they'll sneak in above him. There's uh, Auto Director keeping us at A when the action's all kicking off at B, and here we go. There is AC, the man that uh, Devil Walk called out to be the danger man of the moment for Team Dignitas. You see uh, Nade's back. Bomb has been planted, and we're five on five after plant. Titan lose existence. First man down, and uh, Dignitas have uh, played this one by the book and looking pretty hot. Titan ready to make their entry here through the front side, but they will lose MBK to AC's headshot, and this is looking very, very good. Kenny S decides to dispatch of the first man for Titan, but they are dropping like flies, the Frenchman, and that leaves just one, and he's out as well. Great play from Dignitas, but ultimately, it's really easy to do that when there's no one at B. Yeah, uh, I have, I'm uh, wondering why they didn't have any one at B. Uh, seems like they already had a guy peeking mid, so him being short uh, was kind of a waste. 
I would rather have seen the uh, Titan Pluto guy with uh, like faster info for the rotation guys instead of being like pushed up short. Uh, but Titan made a gamble, didn't work out, and uh, perfect uh, after plant uh, from uh, Dignitas. Yeah, ultimately it was kind of two all ins an all in at A and an all in at B, and uh, well, for Dignitas it landed on the red of the Danish flag. Truly did. As uh, Team Dignitas already picked up three kills in this anti-eco round, and uh, Smith's actually picking up two kills in mid. With that CZ, if you get the perfect range and you control your, uh, you control the um, recoil. Recoil. There we go. He's going for reflex. <laughs> you control the reflex, then uh, you can absolutely nail it, and uh, that's exactly what he did. But it's only screen left standing, and he will be finished trying to escape out of the window. Three kills, though. Yeah. Team Titan. They had three entries, uh, only Smiths and Scream left, but they picked up three frags. Uh, very good from Smiths, and uh, Dignitas is looking very short on money after that anti eco. So it's going to be interesting uh, going into the weapon round after this, uh, as Titan just bought a couple of pistols. See, Dignitas will push in. Titan will want to make this as expensive as they can. They'll know that money system inside and out. And they do get themselves three kills. Device is the two for Dignitas, but we're on a two on three in favor of Titan here. And so they lose to Zipnik's grenade, Mr. Smith, who uh, again cranked himself uh, won this round as uh, Zipnix is now on top of that site, pushes out and finishes off business as Dignitas will get themselves their third so round. This is, uh, yeah, uh, this is dangerous for the, uh, Dignitas. They have almost no money left after uh, winning the pistol and going for the anti-ecos. So Titan have a massive opportunity to actually get string two rounds in a row as CT and that's huge. And you can see that conversation that both uh, Dan and James had. It's Kenny S in this AWP. They give it to him. It's what he is uh, known for. It's what he is best for. But it's a weapon that, again, when I saw them on Mirage uh, earlier in this tournament, didn't. It wasn't a natural fit for the way that they played. So we'll see as he roams. Kenny S is the, uh, at least the Cristiano Ronaldo of this team. He, you have to build the team around him. You have to make it work. And otherwise, you'll see the MBK and Smith both getting a kill. Zipnix pulls one back as MBK goes down. Smith avenges and uh, Titan are now just uh, one frag away. And uh, they will get that. Dignitas uh, lose their first round, and uh, the danger that you called has come true. Yeah, uh, now Dignitas is forced to an eco, but that round was really weird. It looked really well for Dignitas. They had three guys pushed off short uh, with basically no info of them being there uh, for a long while, as Kenny S was smoked off uh, at window. Uh, but it was just a very, very good hold, solid hold from Smiths and MBK. Uh, and yeah, the Basically got mowed down. There's Kenny S with that AWP. Doesn't quite connect this time around. As uh, Dignitas are on a save, and uh, Kenny S will have called the movement. Gets reinforcements from existence, and uh, will uh, peek with his uh, AWP. But there's existence looking to pick himself up a frag, and Titan should clean up this Dignitas eco potentially without loss. They do get, uh, they do lose MBK, who's. That's a pretty uh, poor in the opening five rounds, but MBK's actually had a very good tournament. Yeah, uh, you know, he's a very smart player, a very defensive smart player, and uh, he's kind of that, that guy in Titan who does kind of the shitty shitty parts of, uh, of a role. You don't go aggressive, you have a little bit less fun than others, might say, uh, but a very, very important player for, for Titan. And See Kenny S and Smith now, Smith with the auto sniper. Seems like Dink does four spot. Uh, you got a Deagle on the vice, which is interesting. Hey. Smokes rain in on A. Hey, you see Existence ready to rack in. It's going to be Zipnix who gets the first frag. Zipnix goes down, but Scream and MBK pick themselves up a kill each. Dignitas in on the scene. It's Kenny S and AWP are going to have to stop them from getting over towards that site. Grenade comes over towards him. He'll poke back into position as uh, he and uh, Smith will have. Crosshairs trained on that bomb site. The smoke covers it, and they cannot get anywhere near that. It's Device with an important movement to uh, move round the back as uh, he'll uh, spy Kenny S to. Kenny S is really important in this af in this uh, situation. He has to survive uh, for as long as uh, the bomb is there. Um, try to pick him off as the other guys kind of don't know what's going on. Uh, 
Dignitas is taking it slow. There is Kenny S getting himself the frag onto Fetish. Follows up with the second one. He had to put a pixel to hit. And you better can believe he connected. And now we're two on one. MBK and Kenny S against the bomb carrier. Can they hold this round for uh, against Dupree? Yeah, Dignitas, they can. MBK waited it out. He had very little health that entire time. And he made sure he was hard to find and uh, showed himself at the vital moment. 3 3. Titan, pull it back. Yeah, it was really, they had really good entry, Dignitas. Uh, I'm surprised they didn't go for the plant faster because they, uh, they should have known that all of the Titan players were towards mid. And they had that smoked off. Uh, they could have pushed for the plant. And Their smokes were perfect. Yeah, and uh, I'm really surprised they waited for so long. Here we go, Scream will see action here. Gets himself the first. Besides about not getting the second there, AC will pick that up and that'll be an M4 and an after plant here as Zipnix is ready to go through and things just got a little bit difficult for Titan on what was supposed to be this an is eco. really scary for Titan. If the Existence dies here, now he gets the frag, but it could have been really scary there for Titan. Seems that it's, it's calming down for them. As they should be able to retake this. With terrorist, no armor, just an M4. Uh, two frags coming in for Dignitas, makes it expensive. Bomb will be defused by Existence, but uh, only two men get away. Uh, and that's Kenny S with his AWP and Existence. Uh, it's kind of a weird situation there on site, where Scream kind of shot at him and just left him be. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he just like, assumed uh, it would die. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, aimbot not corrected. <laughs> Smiths uh, will run with that AWP again. In fact, a three-man AWP defense. MBK wow. picking it up here. What have they got in their locker? We start with Kenny S. And uh, I can't wait to see this one unfold. This is interesting. Is, is Smiths at CPL as well and MBK in uh, B apartments? Hit from Kenny S and a miss as uh, he'll push through. Goes for the second bite of the cherry. He connects. It's MBK who goes down, courtesy of Device. And they don't have you, that AWP will uh, hit the deck with it. And we'll be back to uh, only three orps in the game at the moment. <laughs> yeah, uh, one orp down and uh, three to go, I guess. As uh, Dignitas seem quite undecisive on what to do. Uh, the bomb on T-spawn is kind of wiggling around towards B and A. Uh, as he decides to go towards B now, so I'm expecting them to go for a B push in, uh, in a short while, waiting for the underground guy, guy to make his work. Kenny has flashed. Has reinforcements coming through, though. And now we'll see Scream with... The, 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 with Fetish there, going to get the kill. Again, a little bit uh, bemused by that one, but uh, Fetish does get himself a headshot onto uh, Scream. It'll be Existence then that avenges, but that AWP of device dispatches of Smiths, and we're in a two-on-three situation. Kenny S and Existence to uh, recover an afterplant here on the B site, as uh, Dignitas well set up for this one. You wonder whether uh, Titan are going to fancy it, as uh, Existence will come through. They will down that AWP, and uh, they will this decide to go now. for it. Uh, Kenny S outed though by Dupree and uh, Existence will push in now going for the defuse on his lonesome. Zipnix only has 21 points of health but the bomb will surely blow at this time and Dupree finishes off the job and uh, well that was a really odd round. Yeah it was a really odd round but I think Dignitas played pretty well. Uh, they smoked and flashed off Kenny S in CPL from the underground guy and then the nades came over from A slope uh, as uh, was it Fetish who pushed up alone? And the other guys just went towards B. Uh, they had the rotation, the B guy, he had uh, a peak, but he backed off to Kitchen, and uh, Dignitas just got an easy entry on B. Good hit there as Existence goes down. Kenny S was the man behind him. Existence did, uh, sorry, uh, Device did see both players popping up. And, uh, but he has the uh, sighter there from the man who's pushed down towards the tunnel. Kenny S will fall back. I like what uh, Dignitas is doing. They're going for the fast entry, then backing off, letting Titan wonder what's going on, uh, wasting nades, uh, and, you know, just kind of deciding on the info they get from Titan actually trying to get info. But The nades comment is really interesting. You can see the Dignitas still have three players fully naded up, ready to make their move when they do decide to go for a proper entry. Yeah, uh, this is really, really smart play by Dignitas. Uh, Kenny S is kind of hesitant peeking mid. I'm not sure why. Uh, seems like he doesn't want to make the mistake. 
Oh, walking onto the Vice's crosshair was Kenny S. Order Director took us away from the action, but there's Scream poking his head up. Device down, Zipnik Avengers with a headshot, and uh, MBK will pick up that up. Grackles it off towards the top there, but it's going to be MBK taking a lot of damage. He needs Smiths to help him, and Smiths has got problems of his own, courtesy of Dupree. And this should be another round for Dignitas, and as MBK tries to escape with that orb, he will be down by actually a lovely shot from Dupree uh, yeah. straight in the head. Uh, I think uh, Titan need to be more aggressive now. They seems to be kind of hesitant on what they want to do. Uh, they picked, they got lost the entry, and uh, they kind of just stayed in place. They didn't have info made. Kenny S was kind of like wobbling around, and uh, yeah. It's very undecisive. I would recommend that they actually try to push for the info, get it, and uh, instead of being so hesitant. They've not had an entry frag in a little while. They've not been able to set the pace of a round. And you can see them push out. And that time, uh, it being an eco, was a little of a more riskier chance to take. But they're going to push out here, try to see if they can uh, nade down anyone. In the, but that's a tough situation to try and win. Uh, but uh, they went for it. Yeah, uh, di di Team Dignitas is really uh, showing how good they are on anti-ecos. I think it was that opportunity when Smiths killed them, uh, this one guy who killed them, but overall they have a very good plan, well thought out plan for the anti-ecos. As, um, yeah, it's only Kenny S left. Got a kill, but he shouldn't be able to find anything more as Dupree takes him down in window. Um, yeah. I, w I would I would like to see Titan actually going for an aggressive push. Maybe push free up middle uh, while uh, they block the sites with smokes and nades. Device is winning the AWP war in a big way right now. Yeah. Yes, Kenny Ace has uh, eight frags, you can see there, but uh, Device has got ten important frags that yeah. have opened up rounds and allowed Team Dignitas to get in there. Seems like they're doing an interesting choice here. They're actually boosting Kenny S, sure. Uh, while no one was at B in the beginning, they know Dignitas takes it slow. They have the time. Scream's going to see action here as he uh, dispatches of AZ. Second man does poke his head out there, but is very aware that Scream is looking. Fetish comes around the corner. Headshot dispatches of existence. Kenny S now having to quickly get back over towards that A site as he uh, checks to see if anyone's coming up the rear. They're not. It's MBK now trying to get over towards that site as well. Dispatches of Dupree, and we're... Uh, three on three here, and Dignitas will now... I kind of wish they want to push for the site faster to get the plant, but uh, right now they're getting dismantled by playing too slow when they actually take the site. Trading frags. Zipnik's the last man standing. Still going to get it as well. Great play from Zipnik. That's three that round. And uh, it was a headshot in the end that finished off, but great play from Zipnik. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he clutches it, but I still think that Dignitas has the chance to take the site faster. They get the two entries on A, but they kind of slow things down, and it becomes a battle of getting the plant, even. Uh, but Sipnik's great play from uh, Apartments, uh, getting those free frags and clutches on one and two. Having lost the pistol round, Titan recovered back to a 4-3 lead. But since that point, they've lost four in a row now, and uh, really struggling. Yeah, uh, they don't seem to know what to do. As AC just went for the plant. <laughs> just charged for it. Just thought, ah, they might not stop me. And second plant going to go in here as well. And so it was uh, dropped down and, well, they took your advice. They went yeah. for a, a super Very quick fast. plant. <laughs> as uh, Dupree gets himself a frag onto MBK. Kenny S comes in and trades as we have uh, three on four, but those three have it's guns. kind of an awkward situation for Big Advice. Dupree needs to get this frag. Timing oh of this entry from Titan is going to be vital if they want to uh, make something of it. They do get themselves the first and the second. It's all on Fetish now. One on four. And uh, he will dispatch of the first, but it's the AWP from existence. Picked up from Device that dispatches of them. And they will go in and they do have a kit to uh, finish off that defuse. And Titan, no sooner do we start quoting how many rounds they've lost in a row, they stop the rot. I'm not sure why uh, AC went for the plant that quick. Uh, he must have thought there was a smoke on ramp, so he was totally safe. But he was spinning around with that bomb plant and... Uh, <laughs> Happy as Larry. <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, free. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that was pretty weird, seeing it was an anti-eco. Then I think they should have s stayed with the slower-paced game they had before. Uh, but yeah, uh, now Titan actually has a chance to make the, this comeback. Otherwise, eight rounds ST is really, really strong as Dignitas pushes up on Catwalk for a B split. 
Fetish leads the charge in. Smiths will see action here as he comes in, gets himself the first. Existence and Kenny S all have frags, but there are two Dignitas frags sandwiched in the middle there. But Kenny S is off. Dispatches of Dupree. Bomb has been planted, but it's all on AZ now. One on three, right in the thick of things at that uh, B site as he has going to see the first man not get past him. Kenny S escapes with 19 points of health, and Titan pick themselves up their second round in a row. Yeah. Uh, it would have been really difficult for Titan to actually win if they got that anti-eco, but uh, it seems like they're actually on a force buy. Uh, this is the last cash Dignitas has, and Titan is actually building up a pretty good economy. This uh, is looking good for Titan, actually. Dignitas with a full complement of nades. If they lose this, they will uh, be saving in the last round of the half. Probably not. Well... True. They won't save. They will be screwed for cash. Yeah. Let's put it that way. And Kenny S and Smith both get frags. Zipnik's out. Device follows him. And it's AZ who will get one back on the board for the Danes. As they move forward now, it's going to be uh, Smith who's looking for Lambers. AZ. Smith is actually up mid and he has spotted the bomb. And I'm not sure Dignitas knows this. Dupree and AZ both get kills. We're down to just Smiths versus AZ. Both have two kills this round as well. And uh, AZ, no one's got any idea where Smiths is. They've not seen him uh, in a while. And AZ's going to go walking. Smiths should and I think will just stay here. Let that clock run down as much as he can. In fact, he begins to peek and he will get seen. But it doesn't matter. With a shot like that, it doesn't matter whatsoever. And that will be 7-7 going into the last round of the half. And as we can see on the scoreboard, Smith is actually top fragging, so he's having a really, really good game uh, for making this comeback. They were down 4-7, and now three rounds in a row, and uh, Dignitas on that screwed economy. Three Galils, a handful of nades. Only AZ who got those uh, kills in the last one with uh, a happy set. But let's see, this has been a game of uh, ups and downs, to put yeah. it politely, and uh, lots of odd rounds. I think they're going to push uh, A instantly when the mid guy uh, actually get contact as they're pushing in. Kenny S gets the first kill on Dub Dupree. And there it is. Frags a piece for Titan. And it's only Device who got one back. 8-7. Titan come back in the end. And uh, we'll go into the half. Uh, one round to the good up. I think uh, it's, it's interesting to say he'll be the happier of that because Titan at times looked brilliant. Yeah. But at other times looked very vulnerable. And Dignitas looked hot. Uh... Titan is gambling a lot. Uh, I've seen they've almost almost no round they have ha had actually a guy on B. So every B round Dignitas actually did was like a clean entry. Uh, as the pistol goes underway, go we're seeming like a fast A push. See if that comes through. All from slope this time. Oh, look, a man in B. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rare sight. Titan will... Uh push in towards that A site as they see Dupree. He gets himself the first. Kenny S goes walking and Existence gets himself the second, but Kenny S hopped right into danger as uh, Scream pushes in for Titan. They have a man advantage and they have the bomb. AZ and Device. Device just eight points of health. We'll try to recover this site. AZ does get rid of Smiths with a headshot, but it was uh, pricey to his health as well. Dignitas desperate to try and reclaim this site. It's uh, two on two now, but two fully health Frenchmen as they will move in. Scream with one coming right to his left and he will get... Oh, how did he 180 drop AZ there. AZ will be kicking himself, but Device just picks him off as he has to move in towards that side as the bomb ticks louder and louder. It's existence getting further and further away from him. And Titan will pick up the round and get the elimination as well. Great work from uh, Scream and Existence. Two frags apiece. The uh, important part about that round is they picked off the guy on CT. Uh, so doing a retake only from mid is really, really difficult, and they could just run the clock down, as you saw with Existence. The other guys could just take duels while Existence actually set up for the safe uh, win of the round. You know, we made uh, comments about Kenny in the lead-up to this game saying, Titan are improving, but Kenny has not necessarily been the, the Ronaldo of the game. He's dropped a 20-bomb in this, and he's looking uh, looking very good. Yeah, it seems uh, like they've found uh, the spot Kenny S needs, the place he, where he needs to be. And uh, It's not necessarily been with the AWP, though, when he's been no. the strongest. Uh, he's been uh, really good with the rifles. and uh, But he did make a couple of great rounds on the A side there in the end. Smith gets himself a frag onto Zipnik with that kill ill. And uh, Dupree will follow up Dupree with that nickname 
wanting some esports dubstep. Yeah, and uh, Titan doing a, a very, very smart move. They know they picked off the guys on mid, and uh, they're just hammering in on this guy. AC drop down in car, getting the plant, playing a safe anti eco. Very good job, Titan, as they should be able to take this cleanly. Nice work from them. Fetish and uh, Device, the last two standing there. Really just looking for scraps at this point against a five man after plant. And, uh, it'll be Kenny S. Aggressive there, loses a fair bit of health, and uh, that could have been a free kill he gave away, but didn't. 10 7. And it's important to note giving away free kills on, uh, on eco rounds are what left uh, Dignitas in a bad shape in round four last time around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's what made Titan actually come with that four round comeback. They stringed rounds together, got the money, but then, you know. Dignus came back and uh, it was another comeback. The third comeback this game by Titan. But yeah, another eco on uh, Dignitas as they're going with this slow and steady style of the anti eco, which I like. And Titan, if you uh, add together the four they won at the end of the first and the three they won, they yeah. uh, won on this one, it's uh, there's six rounds in a row up. Fun Straight with maths yeah. here on Sesame Street. One, uh, two, there's uh, this thick side, assuming uh, Titan closes this out, will be four rounds down. Things just quickly poke out. Fetish is going to get himself a kill onto Scream. And uh, although they do lose three players down onto 30, 19, and 17 health. This is interesting. I think uh, they're kind of thinking that the Titan will go B now. Because they saw so many men towards A. But... Mates and MBK has other things in, in, in store for Dignitas as they take over A pretty much by, this, by themselves. Easy will be the man who comes through and he'll see action first, but it's Existence who says goodnight to him and MBK follows up from afar onto Zipnix. Bomb to go down, only Dupree to uh, be able to stop that when he's not going to. It's 11 7 and a big, big round for Dignitas now. Yeah, this is really important. They have the money, they bought an open fetish. Uh, and uh, Sipnix is kind of hesitant to what to buy. So they have an AWP, at least. So I'm guessing uh, he's just going to take the peak, normal peaks on mid CPL window. But quick to point out, look at the money as it goes away for Titan. That's the difference in round four in the second half to where Dignitas were again. Titan can go and buy a Ferrari at the end of this round if they so choose. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Much needed Ferrari. Yeah. New feature. You can rush B very fast. Um... And uh, Titan is just poking around. Oh, great nades. That's a good move from them. They know he wants to jump there by the car, get the info, and they just peeked out through the nades and got 80 damage on Sipnix. Sipnix has his hair singed, and Kenny S has a frag. Fetish is out. Not the start Dignitas were looking for. AC goes down, and Scream will help himself to the headshot. Only device putting up resistance as uh, MBK is out for the count as he pushed in. But uh, Dupree will... Add to that tally as Dignitas pull back. You know that Zipnix is in here, but with very low health as well. Zipnix, though, doesn't seem to care as he gets himself a headshot onto one and a second. And Dignitas have turned this one right back around. Now it's time for Kenny S. Hits himself the grenade, the basketball shot onto Zipnix. Gets himself the AK. Can he go on for a 1v3? There goes the second. Not going to do it. Device shuts him down. And uh, this Shoutcaster's excitement becomes more muted. Yeah. Um... Really, really important round from Device there. He pushed down slope, saw MBK was alone. The rotation came into B, and they uh, held off the push. So I think that the information Device gathered there was crucial for them actually putting up a fight that round, with Titan having two entries already. 11-8. Titan bought guns, not a Ferrari. What a shock. They're trying to punish Sipnix for jumping there. Trying to go for a quick peek with all, but this time Sipnik just smoked them off and played a bit safer. They see that as, a, as an easier kill. He's got to do, Sipnik has got to do what he's doing there. Like every, yeah. every player holding B does have to find out if anyone's coming there, and they're trying to punish him. And uh, it's kind of a slow paced game. I'm interested in Dignitas' setup on A. They're kind of leaving mid behind and holding three guys here on A. Rattle off a few shots. Uh, one of those nades did do 50 damage to Smiths. And uh, Titan seemed pretty, un 
uncertain of where to go. Uh, they're just peeking around mid, taking over Catwalk this time. Scream gets himself the kill onto AC. He went down to eight points of health at the start of that exchange, but uh, still goes down. There's Fetish. Existence out for the counters. Uh, he just walks right onto the end of that crosshair. Kenny S returns the favor. Good night, Fetish. As the headshot dispatches of him, MBK comes in and devices out. Zipnix gets the call. You're needed at A because the bomb, oh, is about to say goes down, but Dupree have better ideas. Wow. Can you believe it? Three kills in three seconds. Zipnix is out for the count. It's Scream one on one with Dupree. But Dupree is looking for a forfer and uh, is going up against a man with just eight points of health. Two frags for his trouble. And Screen uh, doesn't have the time. He has to run and save his AK. As Dupree actually made that round happen. Awesome work. Three entries on A. They thought they had the side. They were Here's planted. Dupree. One, two, and I'll have a third. Why not? So great play by Dupree, hiding on site, getting that sneaky entry on uh, on the planter, and then uh, getting them off, caught off guard while they're pushed f for better positions. Just witnessed the producers giving each other a high five for getting that uh, replay so quickly. <laughs> Esports nice production view. love, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, Titan actually forced bot, forced bot with uh, Scream having that AK. He dropped the AK though, which is interesting. Um, buying full nades. I picked an AK up again. Smith's got low. Uh, so they trade out guns around. And Titans. Kenny S actually get an entry on AC on mid. And you see Dignitas deep in A. They've, uh, they're waiting. And this is exactly the same setup they had last time. If it wasn't for Dupree, the man we're auto directed on a lot. Yeah. We, uh, I mean, we've got great move, great visibility of Dupree's movement there, <laughs> courtesy of Auto Director. And, uh, oh, existence. Down to eight points of health and punished. Fetish points, uh, pokes out and uh, dispatches off him. And the uh, Dane, great Dane, looking for another. The uh, Frenchman this is down. This a dangerous to position for Dignitas. They're kind of choked in a, they're pushed in a corner where they're peeking from short, they're peeking from, uh, from apartments and. They're going low with Kenny S wall banging. Wow, what a hit. Zipnix will follow up. Gets rid of Kenny S, but uh, his position's been exposed a bit. But uh, gets himself the second. And Device comes in, and that leaves MBK versus Device. Op versus AK. Where's your money, Devil Walk? Uh, that he's got no time. Ah. <laughs> Didn't see that. <laughs> the fatal flaw of the excited play-by-play -play caster. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, MBK forced to save that round. Uh, this is... They're leaving themselves with too little time to actually make the entry to the bomb site. Second and round in a row. Yeah, and it's punishing them pretty hard. As Dignitas just playing it safe, they're playing it slow, and not letting uh, Titan actually get the entries. And, uh, yeah, pushing for time. Uh, One AK and a CZ for uh, Titan. Yep, they they gotta make something work now. I think uh, they're almost taking too much time controlling mid. Uh, Dignitas seem pretty contempt on not even holding mid, like letting mid go. And Titan is still pushing a lot of men there. Uh, I think maybe they should try to go for a straight push like this one towards A, as they do on the recon. You see the push coming in, and uh, it'll be Device moving in, dump to pre. And AZ helped themselves to frag. So two players left standing. It's MBK, the last man. Got himself a kill and is down. Interesting point you make there about uh, uh, surrendering mid. They put three players so deep in A so many times and Zipnix deep in B that uh, if it works, they just walk straight in into a crossfire. But if it doesn't work, it gives them very little ability to move out and then reclaim the site after a plant. Yeah, I think uh, what Titan needs to do is actually control mid but with fewer people. Let's say they go two there. Maybe get him up short and then back off to make a uh, play on a site. Uh, having the short guy cutting off the rotations. And you see that focus again looking for Zipnix. It was Kenny Ass who uh, went looking for him. This time Dignitas have made a big push out uh, from their day site. Moving uh, Fetish and Device uh, out looking for love. As uh, Kenny Ass is... Uh, the man who will spy fast action, and it's AZ that goes down. It's Titan who have the opening kill. They chase in on Fetish, but Fetish hits two. Scream, Kenny S gone. Dupree follows up with existence, and Titan that time 
unable to get past that brick wall that is uh, fetish. And they have the bomb now. They know he's going to have to move towards mid. They're rotating people in, and uh, they probably know he's usually towards B, so they're holding underground pretty heavily. Smith's the only man standing. Fetish is right on top of him. The grenade will take him down to 84 points of health. He spies the bomb, but uh, then get himself a free frag onto Fetish. Maybe a second. There was a, a pixel there to be hit. He didn't do so, and he walked out into a firing squad of Danes. And it'll be... Dignitas, who take the lead for the first time in a while. and uh, It's a very solid CT play coming out of Dignitas. Uh, they were not giving Titan any room to actually get the picks they need to push the sites. Uh, it seems like Titan is kind of questioning what to do uh, when they don't get that duo for especially Kenny S, who needs to get those uh, picks. MBK jumps onto a grenade there. A 2-3 CZ buy. They could have put together a, a semi-ambitious buy on this one, but uh, waited it out. They're going to find themselves, if Dignitas close out this eco round, which they've done very well, two rounds down. This device holding it, apartments. Device just dispatched of Kenny S, jumps down for a second, but Dupree had already got himself the kill, and only Scream offering any resistance for Titan. And uh, Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Titan re rarely seem to find people. Even that round, they... Didn't see them. They kind of got caught off guard with the device hiding up the balcony. And uh, one at the uh, spawn area, just picking them in the back. And uh, You can't shoot what you can't see. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, yeah, I'm wondering uh, what's going through Titan's head right now. The they're making a push towards A. MBK is left alone in the abs and device takes him down. Now, Sipnix is actually spamming and getting off quite a good chunk of damage towards Smith. Look at AZ going walking there. Kenny S must have heard him coming and just sat back and waited for him to walk around that corner and uh, dispatched of him. And uh, he will push out now. Fetish Mine is all. very spread out, so... And they know A is pretty much clear. Because they have a man pushed up slope, uh, holding there. So they know it's going to be mid slash B. This is interesting. Let's see what Titan can do to entry. Tops. The whole house, as we call it in Sweden. And why is that? I have no idea. <laughs> Cultural variations. <laughs> Dupree <laughs> yeah. pushes in from behind and executes Scream. Kenny S does get himself one back. Fetish will pull Dignitas right back into a one-man advantage as uh, Existence goes down. Second one for Fetish. And the third. Wow. Take a bow, son. That's beautiful stuff from Fetish as Dignitas moved into a three-round lead. And Fetish just one by one by one, whack-a-mole style. And uh, there is not much left for Titan. They need to win this round. Yeah. I, I think they should go for, for a B push, a fast one, uh, as... T Team Dignitas is focusing A very heavily. They're letting mid go. They have three guys on uh, on uh, A, and uh, but it seems like Dignitas is making the right calls as well. They were mid when they stopped going mid Titan, and uh, you know they're pushing the right angles. Remember this Titan's map. Yeah. And uh, Fetish still getting in for mid, even though he smoked off quite heavily. Fetish in that AWP in the second half has just, I mean. Right on cue. He's been a, a, a immovable object. Yeah, he's been really, really good. He's not that kind of an aggressive opener. He's holding the angles and he's doing his job and he's making it sure that no one comes by. So, he's sat. I was about to tell you how many drugs he has, but he's just added one to it as Existence gets himself a bullet in the face. As MBK, Titan, and Kenny S left to save what would be an upcoming match point. Is, uh, we're running out of men. MBK almost getting excited. Is, uh, Dupree in the end drops him. And it's 15-11. Dignitas on Titan's map. And, yeah. Uh, uh, looking really good. The CT defense from Dignitas so defensive and making the small pushes. Uh, Fetish 21. Dupree 25. That's not surprising. Look on the other side. Kenny S 28. He's the one who's, uh, who's really offered the resistance. But... Uh, Every one of Fetish's frags have had uh, a heavy price on them. They've been absolutely invaluable. Yeah. Um, seems like they're actually going to maybe do a double fake here. 
As the oh. vice pushes in and gets the info, there's three guys there, the bomb is spotted. They're making the rotation towards A. Dignitas AC is calling the rotation as Scream pushed up slope. Dignitas tried to get themselves some aggressive kills there. In the end, it ended up backfiring, costing them three. They've returned the favor, though, with uh, two of their own. Existence down. And this is, uh, oh, Smith's still alive, sorry. Um, and uh, it'll be Kenny has to move in. Bomb has been planted. And Titan have themselves around. They're going to need three more, though. Yeah, they kind of got screwed uh, by the information. They knew three people were in slope, but they had two people uh, cutting off the rotations. AC jumped down from short, got caught off guard by two underground aiming, and uh, they just went into a domino effect, and Titan picked up the round. These girls fall like dominoes. Yep. So That's thing. how you like them. 15 to 12. And uh, Titans still seem undecisive on what to do. They're letting Kenny S have his space, pushing, trying to get the picks, but it's not really working out in the end. Very slow paced game, game style right now, as uh, Dignas is set up defensively. Titan is making sure they don't make mistakes. And in goes Existence, gets himself the frag onto the vice. And uh, this may be the cue for an attack from uh, Titan as they jump through. AZ helps himself to one onto screen, but uh, Kenny has finds himself in a bit of a tricky position to try and chase out this kill and is being squeezed by the uh, outcoming Zipniks. And so he pushes in and the Dignitas sandwich begins to bite as AZ gets himself the frag onto MBK and Existence follows as well. It's Smith's or bust for Titan in this first map. Remember, best out of three now here in the playoffs as uh, Dupree and AZ will go for an afterplant against Smith's who has just 47 points of health. He needs to pick up this first kill. Then it's a doable situation. They're spread out, so he's waiting for it. Doesn't get the first. And Titan don't get the first map. It's Dignitas who, under some early pressure, have come back very, very strongly to uh, pick themselves up 